Okay, I'm back with you. Right back to the salt. Okay. Gotta salt this water for the rice. Okay, that's done. Still got my half a shot. That's on the side. Garlic on the side, adobo on the side, salt on the side. Those things been used. Onion powder to the side. Uh, black pepper, I can use some for the rice. Okay. Beans is here. Oh. Crushed red peppers. Red pepper flakes. I'll put a little on both so they taste the same. some of the juice into the pot the rest I'm going to drain into the sink I'm not sure who it was but I watched somebody on YouTube and they said you want to keep the richness and the color of the black beans so you want to keep some of, some of the flavoring from here and, and the juice from here and maybe a half a can of water because you want to keep that nice rich black flavor in there. And not the flavor, the color. Some of the flavor, but mostly has to do with the color of the beans. Wow, kind of stuck in there. So we're we'll loosening it up. A little water. I was going to use anyway. Now we just don't have to do it twice. Hear it? That's me loosening up the last of the beans. turn the beans back up because now they're in in the sauce with the onions with the seasoning Actually, smelling pretty good Stove on 28 minutes. Everything should be done in 25. I tend to do things in multiples of seven because <clears throat> seven is the G is the seventh letter made, and for me, it stands for God. things in the you know just the way I do things doesn't mean that that's the way you should do things but you know if you 
kind of like what I'm doing and you want your food to come out like the way that I'm doing it, then you follow things to the T. If not, then you use what cooking sense you have, the cooking knowledge you have, and you figure out your own way of doing something similar but to your taste and liking. That's all. Again, Peso Sierra Crib, Jersey Vibes, Man's Kitchen. Be right back.